eventually clients want to know what the value of their case is. Uh, and determining the value, or more accurately, the value range uh, is not a, a, a simple matter. Uh, it, there are lots of factors involved in it, uh, some of them being uh, the uh, nature, the extent, the seriousness of your injuries, uh, whether your injuries uh, have a permanent effect on your day-to-day -day living, uh, whether you uh, are out of pocket, uh, medical bills, medical expenses, whether you've lost time from work, um, those kinds of things. And, and, and the uh, extent of your disability, how it prevents you from doing certain things. Um, also, the, the liability questions, uh, which makes slip and fall cases difficult to value. Uh, because usually uh, someone who, uh, who has slipped on something has slipped on the floor uh, where it's right in front of them. Uh, and the uh, defense uh, will say that you should have seen it and walked around it or stepped over it. And if they can convince a jury of that, then the value of your case goes down. Uh, now, I have handled these cases for 38 years. I know how to approach those issues. Uh, but the value of your case uh, is a complicated thing and usually is not made uh, until we are well into the case after we've gathered information and can make uh, an assessment of that kind. So if you've been hurt uh, in uh, a slip and fall case, call me. Uh, we'll sit down and we'll, we'll go over things and see how best we can help you.